Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel, The Blood Samurai. My name is Sam, and today we're playing Vault Hunters. Uh, more specifically, Sky Vault. So this is the Vault Hunters mod pack on Minecraft, as you can see. And basically what it does, it turns you into a, you know, Vault Hunter, based on the name. And you... What? Here, I'll just kind of demonstrate. You break one of these crystals, you get a Vault Crystal, and you also have quests and stuff to complete so that quest for is for um, getting a vault crystal here you can see that there's different levels objectives things like that so that on here it says there's no objective which uh, i got some of these other things from uh, previous quests i've completed um but yeah so you can see there's a whole long line of quests this next one i just need to go into the actual vault so we're gonna ignite it here and, um, yeah. So I, I also got a skill point, which I put into a dash. So that's going to come in very handy. I'll also kind of go through where I've kind of been and what's taken me so long to upload uh, a video. Because it has been a while. Um, but yeah, just a lot of personal things. I'll get more into it at a later date. Um, but just things happened in my life with loved ones and things like that um so that's all i really feel comfortable kind of talking about currently um i think the first thing that we're going to do is look for a pathway here that has wood doesn't actually look like any of these do so we're going to try to find somewhere that has wood here we go. Okay. Because we want to get some tools. So a pickaxe, an axe, axe for both chopping wood and for fighting enemies. Then obviously the pickaxe for, you know, getting better tools. I think it's actually faster to mine the stone, but... Definitely is actually. Okay. Get rid of that. Switch them around. Okay. Okay. So, yep, so that's that dash ability that I was talking about before. I think this is the way back. Oh. So, yeah, 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 because it was that guy right there. Okay, so, there's a lectern right here. Already taking damage. One thing to know about this is that you cannot heal uh, without some sort of healing ability, which we will hopefully unlock. Well, I will be able to unlock it after I get through this um, vault. So yeah, so as you can tell from that one crystal that I had shown before I had gone through um, the vault, um, some vaults will have objectives that you have to complete. So the earlier, um, earlier vaults, like that one said, it's a level zero. So we're, you know, we're just getting into it. Um, that vault, or, you know, these early vaults aren't going to have, oh, yes, nice, so this chest is crazy, as you can tell from, we got two netherite ingots, so if we can get diamond, then, you know, we could get some good stuff, and we got a nether star, I didn't even realize. Um, so we got good stuff right off the bat. We just need to actually, you know, get the diamonds and stuff, and then we can actually make use of, um, make use of the netherite. So that'll be really, really, really good for us. Okay. I have to be very careful with dashing downwards. Because you could quickly 
Dash to your death. Also, um, some people might be asking, well, hey, Sam, why can't you just extract? And the next time a, sh a chest comes up, I will show why I can't just use those little arrow buttons that would be so, you know, convenient to use instead of having to manual. Oh, that was a bit of lag. There's another zombie somewhere, but I'm not sure where it is. Um, here, hold on. Yeah, see, you can't just, you can't extract it. See? Even though it would be really nice to be able to just do that, you can't. I'm not sure where that last zombie is, and it makes me very uncomfortable. Because not knowing where... Oh, okay. Not knowing where a zombie is is the last thing that I want happening. Also, let me just turn these emeralds into emerald blocks. Not that it really helps much in terms of storage, but makes it a little bit better. Okay. Let's Hold on to our scaffold. Oh, we're running low on food. Okay. Make sure that I get to eating. Okay. So let's go, I think, this way. So we basically cleared out that area. We got that really amazing chest. Um. Ooh, look at that area. See now, if I was really cool and good with the dash ability, I would have just dashed over. Um, but um, I'm not that good with the dash ability, so we're gonna we're gonna save that trick for. One thing I have learned from playing a little bit of this before jumping into, you know, recording a video of it, is that it's definitely better to... Okay, where's the iron? There's there's only two pieces of iron? You're really telling me there's only two pieces of iron here. Okay, whatever. There's another area over here. See? Ancient debris right there. Nice. But it's better to hold on to stuff that you're not immediately going to use instead of turn it into something that's just going to take up an extra spot in your inventory. For example, smelting iron. You might be tempted to be like, okay, yeah, so one coal, you know, smelts... 8 iron. So let me, you know, smelt the 8 iron and I'll just hold on to the rest of the raw iron. Good idea. Only problem is, let's say you have one or two or three extra pieces of iron and you're not really using that for anything. That means it's just going to take up an extra spot in your inventory. Where did that diamond go? There it is. For example, right now, I'm going to break this wood, turn it into sticks, and then make a diamond pickaxe, and then get rid of this iron pickaxe I just made, because it's not really going to be all that useful for me in the long run. I'm going to hold on to the stone axe, don't really need a furnace. Things like that. It's like, everything here is... You can basically think of it as, like, everything here is temporary. So, the things that you're going to hold on permanently are what you want to, you know, grab and then take with you. Because otherwise it's just going to make room for, like, the temporary stuff 
is going is just going to end up taking up space for things that are more important that are you know that you actually want to take with you and stuff and it's like yes the iron would be useful to bring with you the iron ingots but you know you're going to be you're not it's not you to be able to save the space and stuff to just have one slot have the iron ingots you'd have to carry a furnace around with you you'd have to you know smelt the iron in said furnace instead of just smelting it after you leave the bolt because obviously it's going to take time to smelt it time which you don't really have why is there just a random okay whatever so yeah it's like it's better if you're you know it's better to save time than to you know try to halt try not to it's better to save time than try to be as efficient as you can because being as a, as efficient as you can is going to actually hinder you in the long run. And I guess technically you're actually being more efficient and so you are being as you're actually being I feel like efficient as you can by doing the opposite of what you your immediate thought might be and to like not waste resources such as coal or you know things like that Interesting. Wait, was I already here? I don't feel like I was, because I feel like I would have... Oh, that's cool. There's like a little rope thing. That's actually sick. There probably was more loot in there, but I was kind of fixated by that. Like, fix I kind of fixated on that rope thing right there. Um, but yeah, let me try to get higher up now. Um, this could end very poorly for me, so I'm just gonna be careful with it. There's so much ore. Like, these guys are just hogging all of the ore. No wonder, like, there's like barely anything in these vaults. It's because all the ore is freaking right here. Like all the other rooms are completely barren because freaking these guys are just hogging everything. They don't really have any chests, but who cares about the chests when you have so much freaking ore that. You can just do whatever you want, basically. Is there- is it- wait, was this it? Oh wait, there is a little area right here. And would you look at that, more ore. Granted, the ore here is kind of... Eh, but... Nonetheless, there was more ore. That's actually really nice to have, okay. I think I'm just going to keep going straight. Um... This place looks sick. 
This this place actually looks really cool. I'm not sure what the point of it is, but it looks cool. Is there anything different about this place than the other places, or is it all just the same? Kind of looks like it's just all the same. <laughs> it's just looks magical. And it makes cool sound effects when you walk through it. Okay. Whoa. See, all this stuff makes some cool sound effects. Ooh, none of the, one of the really good chests. Oh my gosh, another villager. Oh, I need more wood. I need so much wood. That, out of context. Please don't take that out of context. I'm talking about in-game, people. Okay, get your minds out of the gutter. Where, okay, wood, 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 wood. Give me your wood. Give me, okay. Again, talking about in-game, okay? Bro, what was that? Just didn't let me dash right there. I feel like my dash was available. Maybe, uh, maybe not. Okay. Skulkers. Skulk sensors, I should call them. Again, the villagers, not really going to be useful at the moment. Um, just kind of hoping later on, maybe, though, I'll be able to find a use for them. Because, I mean, like, how else am I supposed to get villagers? You know? So, that means I have two villagers... I can set up a breeding thing for them down the line when I actually unlock villagers, because it does say that it requires having easy villagers unlocked. Um, which way did I come from? That way. Okay. Is there anything here? There is. <laughs> You know what, I could, I think, make a... I think I have enough for a diamond axe. So I could make myself a diamond axe. Have I gone down yet? No. I guess that answers my question. Anything down here that you guys want to give to me? Okay, you spawned a little closer to me than I thought you would. Whoa. This place is interesting looking. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that to happen. Nice little surprise. Okay, uh, we're gonna do this. And we're going to do this. And there we go. Um, there we go. There we go. Good to go. Diamond axe. Whoa. This feels like a little village. Does Diamond Act even do more damage than... It just does more attack speed. I forgot about that. I'm stupid. Um... Slime Balls... Could be good. Six and a half minutes left. 
Are people shooting off fireworks outside? Where are, what, people are? What's happening? Why are people lighting fireworks off right now? Is there a football game or something? I don't remember. Anything in the barrels? No. Okay. Not a single barrel has anything in it? No. Okay. There's so many chests right here. Wow. I know I could also get the hay. And that could, you know, be for bread. But. Eh. I don't really feel like grabbing it and then having to make another crafting table and going through that whole process. Okay, we have our scaffolding still. I think we're just going to keep going this way. Let me give me my dash. That was a bad idea. Hurt a little bit. Okay. As you can see from those little, like, blocked off pathways, like, obviously, like, we can't go that way. It's not like we could break the wall either, you know? Boy, where did you come from? Bro just spawned right behind me. That was not fair. Not cool, man. Ooh, some... I can't... I can't break... Okay, I don't know what that was about. Or... I... Didn't mean to. Oh. Well, now I'm not so upset. <laughs> you know what? We're just gonna. Yeah, we're gonna put that. I think I'm gonna start heading back. After I grab this stuff. Just before I... Do something stupid. Yeah, we're just gonna start heading back. Three minutes left, I still want to get some wood. So, probably going to take me a couple minutes to grab some wood. Actually, probably like a minute to grab some wood. I mean, these areas are covered in wood. I could just grab some right here. Two emeralds. Raw chicken. Oh! So that happens. Okay, good to know. I'm gonna try not to stand underneath of that. Okay. If I have enough time, I'll get some more wood, but I think 20 logs is probably good for now. Where did you guys come from? Okay. Oh wait, I have plenty of time actually. Well, two minutes. I don't think I ever really looted this room very much because obviously this is, you know, the starting room, and I didn't really have anything when I started.
Oh wait, no I did. I did loot this area. I'm stupid. And I think I'm gonna... A minute? Nah, I'm not gonna risk it. I'm just gonna... I ha I have wood. Like... Why, why risk it, you know? 2,000 XP, that's a lot. Get, uh, level up, get another skill point from that. Um, make a crafting table, now we can make a chest. We can make a chest. Um... Yeah, we'll put that there. Okay, let's just put all of our stuff in there. Okay, so... So yeah, so we have villagers for whatever we want to do later. We have netherite. We have diamonds. Okay, let me look at the... Let me look at armor. So... Yeah. So that's what I mean. It's like the armor all well, chainmail and leather give plus one, iron and diamond give plus two, netherite gives plus three. So I think it would actually be better if we're gonna go with netherite. Netherite gear. Oh, I'm st when I, when it said netherite gear, I was like, wait, why is it nether? I'm oh, stupid. Um, a rare crafting ingredient. Gilded chest. Okay. Um, so yeah, now we have healing. It's a new ability that I just got. Um, so that's going to be very nice to have. Especially when exploring in a place where you can't normally heal. We have, we're going to make some furnaces. Um, okay. I think it's uh I think it's looking good. I mean you could put some torches down or whatever, you know, just for when it becomes nighttime. Just put that stuff in there because we can. Uh gonna eat some bread as soon as my healing abilities back up because then I'll be at full health and full hunger. Iron's gonna cook up um, my thought, my current thought process is go for netherite gear. Because re realistically, plus three on the boots. So if we just look up netherite, plus three on the helmet, that's six. So that's going to be like three, ar three full armor points. And then plus four on each of these, which is going to be another... Two, two. So that'd be an extra. So I'd be up to about five. No. So six in total with that. So that'd be three of those. Eight. So another four. So actually seven. So I'd be up to. So a little bit less than like iron armor normally would give. If I had full netherite. So I'm thinking go for diamond chest plate, diamond leggings. Get the netherite. So then that's at least four full armor points. If need be, go for iron armor. That would be two each. You know. Um, yeah, we can just look up iron. Iron helmet, iron boots, that's two each, extra two, 
So we would be up to about chain mail at that point. Do I want a bed at any point to like be able to sleep? I don't think a bed is really all that necessary. I'm just noticing because it is becoming nighttime. Um, this is the ability that I do want. This hunter ability. Highlight all uh, POIs in a radius for a duration of time. So points of interest. So it includes all chests, coins, god altars, and objective points. The cooldown, though, is so long. That's the only problem. But then you have this Hunter's Instinct, which is a talent. So it's not an ability, it's a talent. Killing a mob grants a small chance of having their death cause your Hunter senses to trigger, revealing all points of interest in a radius around the killed mob. So I think that'll be good, but it does require me to have this ability already learned. And the ability costs four. This talent here costs two, so that's gonna be. I need. I basically need to level up six more times. Um, another thing that I want is this vault compass. This is the ideal tool for anyone getting lost inside the vault. While in your inventory, the compass will always point to the start portal of any vault. You can hold. But it's not like it's really that important to me right now. Because obviously, currently I'm just whew, I'm just using um, the uh, scaffolding to lead my way out. So it's not like it's that important. Soul Harvester. Unlocks the Soul Harvester, which is a much faster way of breaking down items to Soul Essence. So yeah, that's another thing. It's this These Soul Shards are a currency. And you use it to make this black market, and then that's how you, you know, you would, like, be able to do stuff. Like, you, you can buy stuff in the black market using these Soul Shards. But somehow I need to get driftwood, which I'm not sure on how to get yet. But hopefully, eventually, I will be able to. I think what I'm going to do, actually, is turn... Okay, that's not what I meant to do, actually. I think I'm going to turn... Um these guys into netherite mainly for the sake of durability so we can turn on advanced tooltips so now we have extra durability which i believe diamond diamond tools have like i think like 1500 so you get like 500 extra uses out of the tools and a little bit of extra damage as well on top of that. So that's going to be really nice. Um, we can actually just turn that into... So now we actually have five diamonds. Two more. We're going to make the diamond leggings. Turn that into netherite. And um, yeah. I think that's going to be it for today's video of Vault Hunters. Let me know if you guys want to, you know, keep watching me play. Because I actually, I really do have a good time playing this. This is fun. Not sure yet what to do with um, this Nether Star. Other than make a beacon. Why would you ever want to use the beacon to make an end crystal? That doesn't make any sense. Um, but, or Heart of the Sea as well. That doesn't seem. Nitro crystals, maybe that. I mean, that could be cool, but but um, anyways, that's gonna like I said, that's gonna be it for today. Let me know, yep, if in the comments if you guys want to see me play this again because I do really actually like I do have a good time playing this, it, it's a good time. Um, and, but yeah, without further ado, I hope to see you guys in the next one. And uh, yeah, my name's Sam, and 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Mean the world to me. It doesn't cost you guys anything. And yeah. Uh, see you guys in the next one. You guys take care.